Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> uh, wanted to do a little bit of video at least on the uh, stem tool that I made. Uh, show you guys some of that and at least get that video done. And I know Scott's going to be real busy for the next month or two and, and wanted to try to help out as much as I could. But uh, <clears throat> the stem tool is real handy, especially if you're doing preformed stems. And uh, you can use it on uh, round stock or hand cut stems too. Uh, it's just not as useful for that. But uh, this is what the tool looks like. And I think most of you have seen it on the forum. And a little quick safety tip. If you can see that, never, 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 ever leave your chuck key in the chuck. <laughs> Bad idea. Always have somewhere handy uh, where you can stick that chuck because you don't want to have one of those things thrown at you out of that chuck. <clears throat> Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you can see this in the video. And <clears throat> that's just a piece of round stock. I think mine's about one inch. And the inside of that looks like this right here is just cone shaped. Hopefully that's showing up. And uh, of course if you've got a metal lathe you can make it with a metal lathe. And what happens of course when you <clears throat> put the stem in that cove it automatically self centers it. Uh, it, it can't get off center as long as you've got a little bit of pressure uh, on the end of it with your tail stock uh, it automatically centers it right up and uh, <clears throat> then what's on the end of it is just a regular old chair leg, chair leg rubber rubber stopper for a chair leg and of course you'd get one of those uh, for whatever size round stock you're using to fit good and snug on there <clears throat> and then what you do is cut a slot in the end of that uh, chair leg boot <clears throat> and your stem just slips into that slot and <clears throat> Actually, uh, the rubber, you want it to fit snug on the stem, so don't cut your slot too wide. But the rubber is what spins the stem. The, the tool itself, the metal part of the tool, centers it, <clears throat> and then the rubber part uh, gives it the grip to, to spin the stem. I'll get this chucked up in the lathe here now. <clears throat> Real quick. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to switch cameras. I'm trying to use my cell phone and uh, digital camera both so that I can get better angles. But uh, I'll be right back on the other camera and show you how this works. 